It's Mr. Ben Tish. Uh, great to have on the show, Ben. Thanks, James. Thank you for coming on. Pleasure to be here. Now, you're influenced heavily with uh, sort of, we mentioned the Italian, but the, the Spanish sort of theme, in, particularly yeah. this dish. So. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, um, so it's hake with uh, clams, yeah. uh, spicy chorizo and arbacina olive oil mash. Um, Sounds and, good to me. Yeah, so it's a, a take on the Spanish, it's refined a little bit with the addition of the mash. Right, so tell us about this hake then, because so you okay. want to get that on start off yeah. with, I know you do. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, hake... <laughs> Used loads in Spain and France, um, as uh, we spoke to Daniel about earlier. Um, and yeah, and super cooking rich. it, yeah, really good. It's really good. Cooking it on the bone, it's a really good way to, to cook hake or any, any fish for that matter. Yeah. Love cooking fish on the bone. Get more flavour. with hake, it's quite delicate though, isn't it, really? It's quite delicate. if you overcook it. Exactly, but the bone kind of helps that, helps keep it yeah. all together, but yeah. it does yeah. add that flavour yeah. in there as well. So I've got a nice hot pan and uh, mm -hmm. olive oil in there, and just added the hake into there. So now, big, this is a cut of meat piece. that you normally find on salmon. It's called a darn, this one. Cut Absolutely. straight through the centre of the fish. Yeah, darn or a steak, as probably a lot of people would know that. So, yeah. just like going in there. Thanks, James. Yeah. And Thank I'm just going to get my clams in there now as well. There we go. Yeah. Get away in there. Get rid of that. So, in there, you've just got a little bit of olive oil. Just a touch. Just a little bit of olive oil in there, that's it. Just want to get that going. I want a nice kind of caramelisation on that. Now, I mentioned that the well. French like it as well, but yeah, it was one of the first dishes I so I learned to cook in France was the yeah. hake with the beurre blanc sauce. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. 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 And when we went in France, uh, you and I learned to get some massive one on the market in yeah. Brittany. Good about sort of five years in length. Yeah. Yeah. Again, inexpensive. Yeah. Really tasty, I mean, yeah, so in Italy they kind of use it a lot as well. We have an Italian influence at our restaurants as well, so it's quite used use quite a lot, lot in Italy. Mm. So it just seems in the UK that we just kind of don't get it. So but when we have the it on name, the menu... You see the, the name in yeah. UK. People don't like the name or the look of the fish they want yeah. to eat. Well, it's always the cod yeah. and the haddock that I think it seems well, to go for. It's it. yeah. crazy, yeah. isn't it, really, when you think yeah. there's so many great other fish out there, particularly this one. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. So, James, you're peeling some treetho for me. So we've got some yeah. cooking treetho here, and this is spicy cooking treetho. It's different to uh, the cured treetho. So it needs to be cooked. Yeah. And it's great when you're cooking, like, with... Uh, when you cook it down, it releases its paprika... Oil. And well, the word picante is what you look for in... in picante, exactly, yeah. Which is so the get, spice you one, get isn't it? which is the sweet one, and picante, which is the spicy one. Yeah. So, got the clams, they're going nicely there. Turn the hake again. And I'll grab some of that tree, though, James, if I may. Now, the difference, like you said, the cooking one, you can easily tell the difference. Yeah, it's one's a lot actually like a sausage and soft. Yeah, soft exactly, yeah. yeah. The other one's firm. So. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, you can cook with the, uh, the, cu the fully cured one. Yeah. Um, and it also releases a bit more, but this is, this is much better than what it's about. Yeah. So, I just want to get that sweating away there, and it'll yeah. start to release all its, all its oil on there. So that's really good. Now, I mentioned the fact that's that so. you're a big fish fan with the old sea bus. Hake? Yes. Uh, you know what? I'm just trying to think. What no, family of fish is hake from? Or what? Like, give me some... I would have thought it's probably cod or hake. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a kind, kind of... Because it's, it's, it's called cola in French. Yeah, it's the cod family, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cod, 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 OK, cool. So, if you could kill that tape for me, James, please. And we're going to get that on. Right. It's going to turn that again. We've got a nice colour on there now. Very accessible in price as well. So that's good. And then here I've got some white wine that I'm just going to add into there. Now tell us about these restaurants then, because you, you first of all came to London when? Uh, I came to London ooh, about 14, 15 years ago. Right. Uh, started working uh, first jobs at the Ritz. Yeah. Classic place. Uh, did that for a year. And then uh, ended up working with uh, Jason Adderton at various restaurants. Um, and so I'm sorry, James, just inter interrupt there. So I'm just steaming that away there, yeah. and that's going to finish cooking the uh, cooking the fish through. Yeah, get the potatoes on there. Mm. So yeah, and then uh, worked at uh, Italian restaurant called El Duca, which was um, uh, where I kind of got into more into like the rustic style of things. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, cool. yeah, you do that one. Okay, thanks. Um, and then, yeah, and then I uh, had a little detour into Scotland where I worked at a, a country house hotel up there and got really in touch with kind of produce and things like right. that. I moved back to London. So big mix and match then, really? Mix and match, exactly. And then started at, um, started at Salt Yard. And kind of it's just gone from there. Really so these, got into Spanish cooking. These are kind of, talking about Spanish cooking, these are modern tapas restaurants. But they're all they're all different, are they? Or they're all no, there's, roughly different. There's, there's a theme. There's a, th a, a theme running through them. You know, we specialise in charcuterie cheese, Spain and Italy as well. It's not just Spanish. Um, and yeah, kind of tapas, but yeah, with a modern twist on them. It's so. in particularly the barrico, isn't it? That's what you use quite a bit. Um, our Opera Tavern restaurant in Comgon, which we opened a year ago, we've kind of become famous for fresh Iberico meat. So. Yeah. 
Uh, everybody probably knows the uh, the ham that's carved in Spanish restaurants, yeah, the ham yeah, on a barico. Pata negra, they call it. Yeah, yeah, but the fresh meat um, is, is is delicious as well, and it can be cooked uh, rather like uh, beef. You can cook it medium rare. Oh. So we do things like tartars and carpaccios. It's quite we unusual with pork like that when you talk about pork and medium rare. People yeah. are always a bit yeah, they're a bit funny, yeah. and you know, but. Because of the breeding, and because the of the diet and, and the welfare, exactly yeah. that. It's actually then the it's, cousin it's of the one in the Pyrenees, a French show, Black, Black de Bigot. It's the cousin of yes, exactly that. that. Yeah, yeah. Too, yeah. So, oh, and they're wild. You know, they're, there's nothing. You know, there's no. You got any acorn in the forest? Yeah, in the mountains. Yeah. 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 Well, so, they have a diet of acorns, maybe. Yeah. Don't they? yeah well, that's, yeah. that's that's exactly what it is. Yeah, and so the the, the meat kind of reflects that. It's fatty. It's a little bit like wagyu beef. If anybody's tried that, but it's kind of got that kind of that richness going on. Right. So just chopping a bit of parsley. So thanks for that, James. So what do you want in this uh, mash then? Okay, so if you just put me um, that cream in there, please. Yep. Thank you. Uh, probably about uh, a third of that butter. That'd a third of that butter as well. Remember, if you'd like, like, like to ask a question on the show, then call this number. That's 0876 Calls, remember, cost 10p a minute from a BC line. Right. Mobiles and other networks may vary. And if you've put your question to us live a little later on, don't forget you find Ben's recipe along with all the other studio recipes on our other website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Thanks, James. So salt and pepper in there. Salt and pepper in there. I've got the cream and butter. And then I'm going to add into the mash some Obkina olive oil, which oh. is a delicious um, spicy olive oil from, from Spain. Now, talking about olive oil, you walk around the supermarkets now. Yeah. Oh my it God, used to be, used to be Italian. That was it. But now you've got stuff from South Africa. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Oh. But you should treat it like wine. They're all very different, aren't they? They're yeah. all very different. And in fact, this Abacino olive oil that I'm using, uh, we use at our restaurants as like the, 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 the table olive oil, the bread. And it's the new Pepper, season yeah. olive oil that's come through now. So it's a lot stronger than, um, it's a lot stronger than uh, the, the old season. It kind mm. of, it's, it's yeah. more in your face. So. It can yeah. vary by seasons as well as by olive oil to olive oil. <laughs> the abacrino, so. of course, is a type of olive, olive itself. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we, we sell the olives as well, which are delicious okay. as a table yeah, olive. Nice. So. Yeah. OK, so that's going nicely there. I'm just going to turn the, the hake over. Right. And this will take quite quickly to cook because yeah. you're cooking this with a lid on as well. Exactly, so you've got the steam going on there. I'm just going to add some yeah. parsley into that. That's good. I mean, you're doing a brasserie dish later, but this is kind of like the brasserie dishes that they have in France. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. yeah. the classic yeah. burblon sauce. You can even say straw home yeah. cooking because it's this kind of relation. Eh? You want some lemon in there? Yes, as please. Well. Yeah, just a squeeze of lemon just to sharpen it up. And I think you're we're about there. there. Lovely. Right. So you want to okay, that looks good, that. James. Yeah, just um, if you put me a, a spoon of that on the middle, that'd be good. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, James. Very nice. Let's get my fish slice. So there's the hake. Lovely. Nicely cooked through. Do you serve that dish in your restaurant? Uh, yeah. yeah, we serve it in restaurant. Not as big as that. No, not as big <laughs> as this. No, I mean, all, all the dishes that we serve are, are tapas dishes. This That's is a Yorkshire a tapas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it in. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot to you, James, so I thought I'd give you a twist. You'd a Yorkshire yeah. portion. <laughs> but yeah, we go. Uh. So you can see all those lovely paprika juices have come out of there. Yeah, and that's you've got you, you put the sherry and the white wine in. Sherry and white wine in there as well. That was yeah. dry sherry in there. Dry sherry, yeah. It just gives the sauce a nice kind of bite. That's really good. And yeah, this is really uh, this is really popular at the restaurants. So. And sherry's on the up as well, actually. Uh, sherry's sherry's drink. well on the up. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, nice, we sell nice loads of sherry now. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So that is roasted hake on the bone with Arbuckina olive oil mash. Uh, clams and chorizo with sherry sauce. Thank you very much. Lovely. By a guy with his first time on Saturday Kitchen. Well done. Thank you. I'm in Melksham on the banks of the River Avon on a very blustery day. But I'm heading into town to find some great wines for today's recipes. Your dish is, of course, very Spanish, and it would be all wrong of me if I didn't point out that a fresh, dry sherry makes a really good partner for it. Something like this manzanilla served cold is pretty good. It's just a little bit overpowering and strong, perhaps. So I've chosen something a bit lighter and definitely very easygoing. And the wine I've gone for is the Torres Vinasol 2011. 
Spanish white wines go really well with white fish like hake, but you need to avoid the more oaky, traditional dark yellow styles. This wine is pale, young, simple and dry. And it's got a lovely nose of oranges, lemons and apples. There's a nice fresh crispness to this wine. And because there's white wine, dry sherry and lemon juice in the recipe, that's what's needed to marry with that. And it's that acidity that will also go with the spicy hot chorizo. But it's a subtle wine. There's nothing too heavy here that threatens to overwhelm the more delicate fish and, of course, that lovely creamy olive oil mash. Ben, this is such an appealing recipe and it sums up everything I love about Spanish food. So I've come up with a wine from the same part of the world to match. Cheers.